Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Um, I'm going to, this reading is for the sign of Gemini and it's for the second half of August. I'm quickly going to dive into your reading and, and I really want these to be quick reads um, because I'm doing the first individual readings for each sign. Let's see what comes up for Gemini. What messages need to come to energies? This reading may or may not resonate with all, you know, the people. Um, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. to take two wisdom of the oracle cards to be fair interesting we'll talk about it and why a very interesting card <laughs> okay and before I to clarify that I'm going to take two Sacred Traveler. I feel guided to take these two cards for you. Geminis, what is happening with the lovely, lovely Geminis? Please show us the spirit. What messages do our lovely Geminis need to hear? Okay. Choosing your path. Interesting, interesting. And finding sanctuary. Hope you can see the card. Okay, perfect. So let's, we are going to pull out tarot after this. I'm first going to talk about the messages that we have got. So to be fair, um, it's time to bring balance into your life and into your situation by being honest, by living honestly, by being honest um, about yourself, about your, find your authentic on authenticity, step into your authenticity and find your truth and be fair in all situations in your life and also um, with yourself also you know um, and this could sometimes also be when you see this card this could also mean that uh, perhaps um, the there's some sort of divine intervention that is going to bring some sort sort of you know um, fairness to whatever situation you're going through the scales will be balanced uh, somehow. It's sort of like a judgment card in, in um, sorry, uh, yeah, justice card in tarot. So something like that, but yes. And the why, <laughs> the most important question, the great why. So, this is this is a very interesting card one of my favorites also this has been showing up in my readings a lot lately when i do readings for myself private readings <laughs> everyday readings so this has been showing a lot lately because i'm trying to manifest a lot of things and this card shows up when you are asked to quest uh, asked to ask yourself this question why why are you trying to do certain things? Why are you trying to 
uh, why are you making certain decisions what is the motivation behind let's just say if you're trying to um, manifest um, more money in your life let's just say or love in your life what is the motivation behind it what is it that you want from from that what is it going to do for you you always must know or if you're trying to to attract a new opportunity in your life let's just say work opportunity what is it why is uh, why do you want to attract that certain opportunity so this card asks you to be very clear about your motivations behind whatever you are asking or whatever you're trying to create in your life or whatever kind of life you are trying to imagine for yourself. So this card actually asks you the question, it uh, asks you to know and be very clear about motivation. And it also says that no motivation is good or bad. The only thing is that you need to be very clear about whatever the motivation is behind. So for instance, if some of you want to manifest more money because you want more, you know, things material things in your life so the, the it it says that it's not a, there no motivation is good or bad the point is that you must know what is your motivation behind it and accept and embrace it and that's when you really step into your energy of the the magician or the the manifester energy where you quickly manifest things because you know why you want them why you want certain people in your life, why you want certain things in your life. And choosing your path. So some of you are perhaps on, a, on the crossroads and it's a very lucky, interesting, energetically very happening time because everything is possible. <laughs> so I think you have a lot of back backing of the spirit and the universe also. So anything you choose, is possible any path you walk on is going to lead to the 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 kind of life that you want for yourself something like that so choose your path choosing your path and all is possible and finding sanctuary opening to your spiritual source some of you are perhaps because if i look at the choosing your path and finding sanctuary this may not resonate with everyone but some of you may be on the path on a spiritual journey or on a path of um, this spiritual knowing <laughs> and you're opening up to the source to know or to gain more knowledge um, to gain more knowledge about your ancestors and about um, yeah just tap into the the wisdom of the spiritual source something like that but interesting let's pull out some tarot for you and let's see what story tarot has to tell us okay for the sign of gemini for gemini Okay, this came. We are going to start with this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna clarify the magician. Okay, present. Okay. Hmm. And future ouch okay 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 i'm gonna clarify a few cards here okay then then we'll get into your reading so what is it why is the ten of wands in the past Magician, hmm. 
Seven of Swords. Moon. Five of Pentacles. Spirit. Hmm. Please, one more card for the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles here. Hmm. And... <laughs> okay. And... The Page of Swords. And Five of Pentacles. Page of Swords and Five of Pentacles. One more card. Interesting. Okay. And bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. Creative inspiration, a new start. Okay. We'll just. Mm -hmm. And it's coming. There's a wheel of there's wheel of fortune. So it was divinely um, orchestrated new start or idea for you perhaps okay so uh immediately i see six of pentacles uh, in the uh, past you were probably trying to balance your material situation um some you tr you were trying to balance things i see the card of balance Philip, we we've already talked about to be fair and um, this is also sixes are the card of balance and you also probably felt that someone was breadcrumbing you perhaps you were financially dependent on someone you uh, in the past you were financially like a father figure in uh, you know or some of you your you know partners perhaps very masculine energies um, and it was burdening you and this could I I'll talk about that, but this this is what I feel that you actually needed to create some sort of balance of, uh, you know, um, financial gain, financial balance in your life, and not be dependent on someone or breadcrumbed by someone, or um, you wanted to be in this energy, and you were manifesting um, a fresh new start or a fresh new way of living for yourself. And to be a fool who would just take a leap in the, into the unknown. So you were sort of manifesting that uh, because what I see here is, sorry, I dropped the cards. What I see here is that you're carrying a lot of burden, um, a lot of weight. So you see how the fool moves. Fool is only carrying this sack. This is this is what he carries this is what he has prepared for his journey that's it nothing else he's not prepared so much so you were probably wanted to be in this kind of uh, energy where you would just leap on into the unknown without uh, being without giving it too much thought so you were probably manifesting for yourself a new fresh start or a new way of living where you are not carrying burdens these heavy burdens and responsibilities so um and i also feel perhaps there's um um imbalance of uh, energy perhaps you were always guarded and into this masculine um, energy where you were near more towards uh, the energetically more towards the the masculine side which is um, not emotionally invested and is into is not into the receiving mode and is more 
into taking action mode or actively defending or actively guarding or actively um, providing mode um, and being very aware of their responsibility responsibilities which were burdening someone here so it's very different from the fool card this person is moving forward Bo they're both moving forward see <laughs> but if you put them together they're both going into the opposite directions <laughs> oh interesting 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 so if you put these cards like that Fool is moving towards the magician. Magician, what does magician do? Mag magician knows that he has all the resources and tools to attract whatever he wants, to create magic, to, to just ask and it's going to happen because he has all the resources. He taps into his resources and with confidence and knows that all he has to do is just have trust and faith and everything that he wants and the kind of life that he wants is going to come to him. So fool is moving towards the magician, the uh, the en the the energy of receiving and creating uh, with ease and not with burden. And this burden, uh, this man um, who's carrying these ten wands, is actually moving towards uh, in the moving in the opposite direction of. Uh, responsibility of this um, you know uh, this stance of always protecting and being ready to fight for uh, for what whatever they need so it's like very opposite energies here but yes this could be this is interesting okay so what we have in the present moment is someone who needs to make a choice perhaps needs needs to choose your path need to choose your path but again i see someone being closed off to emotions emotionally not um yeah not open and there's a lot of energy of guarding yourself being closed off and this could also mean someone has to make a a, a choice they know that they have to but they're not seeing anything they're too much in their head and whatever choices so if you would make a choice like that, it would always be, you know, something that you are not really seeing the truth and is just making a choice in your head, through your head, you know, um, and is guarding themselves, um, thinking that they're being attacked. So, yeah. And this is Seven of Swords is an energy of sneakiness, quietly moving away. But this is also here, I feel like um, the energy of self-deception because I see someone is not ready to see something, you know and not also ready to act upon their intuition. So someone perhaps needs to see, it has some sort of self-deception um, around the idea of their worth and what they can have in life, what kind of, this could also, oh, I now feel that this could also mean that someone is sneakily going towards some opportunity and they're investing secretly all their resource into a new fresh start again a new way of living there's a lot of desire this you know the the big message of the reading is someone's desire to create this new start because we have like ace and ace um, this is like a great opportunity that they're manifesting for themselves. So this can sometimes be a card of being smart, but not being, um, and, uh, not being too vocal about it. So you're probably secretly moving away to this, to this um, new opportunity 
where you will have it all, where you will have this fin uh, financial material stability and you will be independent and not be dependent again. I, I see there, there was this energy of someone trying to create that for themselves. Interesting. And there's a lot of um, um, un unknown um, secrets around it. Very secretive. <laughs> Very interesting reading. But this is another, um, you know, um, I, I think spirit is trying to say, what spirit is trying to say here is that although there are things that are hidden from you, many things that are hidden from you, all you have to do is just follow your heart. This is someone who's following their bliss and going with um, venturing into the unknown with an open heart to receive and give um, love, something like that. I don't know why I feel that, but I think um, someone venturing through the unknown and venturing through the fears with, with this um, energy of love and open heart and it, but I, it's interesting that he's carrying this cup like a torch you know and is very confident although this is normally uh, someone offering love or something like that but here I don't feel like that it's like someone is holding is is being guided by their heart through all the fears and all the um, all the secrets. Very interesting, amazing. Never received this kind of message before. In the future, you will have infinite strength and you will be able to tame the beast, <laughs> whether it's your shadow work that you would do in in your um, life um, healing shadow work but you will so when someone with an open heart can walk through and be guided by their heart and intuition because water is the energy of intuition also so someone being guided by their um, the unconditional love and intuition can actually explore the unknown territories can go on this journey and and can gain this strength so would i i don't know why i feel this is someone's internal journey where through their intuition and emotion they will come out victoriously and they will have the you know um they will have the strength to tame any beast, whether inside or outside. Very interesting. Very, very good reading. Okay. And here I see someone healing <laughs> from the lack mentality. This card can mean issues around abandonment. In future, you will overcome this energy with your head you know with your truth by stepping into or speaking your truth actually I feel like pages are the energies of learning and swords have to do with communication so someone learning to communicate their truth but also this person he is um, through his sword he can um, just uh, cut through the clouds and see the truth. You can actually see clearly, you can see the truth clearly, you know. So someone stepping into their, learning to communicate their truth and stepping into their uh, authenticity and overcoming uh, this, their abandonment issues 
by actually seeing them also, seeing them and embracing them and working through them, because that's the only way. And here I see someone sees the truth of that, where this wound comes from, where this wound of inner child abandon, abandonment and this lack mentality comes from, this breadcrumb crumbing energy or someone uh, feeling unstable comes from. And they will overcome this and will have a new, uh, you know, uh, passion. So this could also mean that overcoming this with through passion for life and through um, communicating truth. So seeing the truth and whatever, um, yeah, makes them um or or here being ready to creating a world into being i mean this i feel like the energy of creating a world into being seeing it and then changing it taking an inspired action towards something and as you see moving forward with so much passion or towards their passion, um, that's what the Knight of Wands does. Moving forward very, very quickly towards something, towards this passionate new start, this newfound passion for life and for themselves. Very interesting reading. I'm just going to take one card from the angels, angels advice. Sorry, angels advice. For the Gemini, for the lovely Gemini's angels advice. Ah, I've got two. Okay. Leadership. Interesting. I see it here. I see it here. Someone taking charge. Someone taking charge. Archangel Gabriel, it is time for you to assume your leadership, power, and position and lovingly guide others. <laughs> Very good. And peace. Archangel Shamuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Such a beautiful message. Such a beautiful reading. Very super interesting. Okay, I hope this reading resonate, resonates with you. If it does, please like and share the video so that other people can find the messages. And um, please subscribe to my channel and um, I am truly, absolutely grateful for your time. Thank you so much. Love and light. Take care. Bye-bye.